Hello everybody, this is Bradley from Analysis Pro. I hope you've had a great start to the year. I've seen a few daffodils up, so spring is on the horizon. Welcome to season two, episode one of the Talk to Brad videos, where the whole point is to discuss the fascinating subject of video analysis, specifically to the Naxport video analysis software. Today we discuss all six versions of the Naxport software and what are the key differences that make a difference to your workflows and processes. The video will be slightly longer than normal, but hopefully it will be worth the wait. I'll share my screen with you now. To start with, I'll give you an overview of Naxport. Naxport is used across 60 different countries and in more than 35 different sports. The features and range of versions available mean that it's used by national governing bodies and professional teams like Liverpool FC and Gloucester Rugby, but also by local grassroots teams, schools, colleges and universities. It's got affordable costs and lifetime licenses. There will be an export version to suit you, your budget and your requirements. An export is easy to learn and quick to use. Your analysis is made efficient thanks to the Naxport features and workflows that have been developed for coaches based on user feedback and requests from those out in the field. Naxport users are fully supported throughout the process, utilising the knowledge base and our dedicated support team. So moving on to Naxport Basic. So. Naxport Basic is still really powerful software and you can achieve some really good workflows with it. To start off with, the price is £130 plus fat and for this you can start using the power of video and statistical data. We always ask, can you really remember everything that happened? And that's what video analysis is all about, giving you the chance to see it again. You click and register actions live or post event. So even with the most basic software, you can achieve some live performance analysis workflows. Of course, you can register from file, post event as well. If you are interested in registering live, we've got some articles on our knowledge base on how to do that. So how does it actually work? You create your own templates with 25 on-screen buttons, and these are called categories. With Naxport Basic, you get 25 of the buttons and it's designed to be customizable to suit you as the coach. What are you looking for? Each button has a manual mode setting or has preset clip times. So you can click at the beginning and at the end of the clip or you can predetermine the time that you want that clip to be. This is all done in the registering environment. This is the terminology that we use in Naxport when you are coding, tagging, registering the actual game. It's really easy to do and everything orientates around this template. So most coaches will sit down with a pen and paper and they will write down what is important to them, what are they looking for from their team, what are they looking for from their players and then start looking at the flow of how they want their template to go. Especially if you're performing some live workflows, you want to make it as easy as possible for you to maneuver around your template. Each time you click, you will enter this category into a timeline of events and you'll need to flick from the registered environment over to the timeline environment and you can review each category. So we have hot keys in place for you to easily skip through different clips so you can find those important ones and review the most important bits of the game. We then have other tools like the comparison tool so you can view two clips or more than two clips side by side. In Naxport Basic you also have the dashboard tool. You have one dashboard which is a set of customized graphs, charts and labels to visually show the data in bar charts, pie charts etc. You only have to make one of these and each time it will automatically populate your dashboard for you. So the bar chart, the pie charts will automatically fill up with data as you are coding the game. Now my favorite tool in Naxport is the presentation tool. You fill up color coded lists with the clips that you want to present. So for example, you may want to look at all your player moments. So you might have a list 
for each player. You might have different lists of things that you've been working on in training, like set pieces. You might have your attacking third entries. You might have any key clips as color coded lists. And as you're reviewing your data, you can easily use a hotkey to fill up these lists how you want them. You can add a picture of your dashboard so you get a statistical representation of what happened. And you can also add any pictures to the presentations as well. But you don't have to stop there. You can write any notes, write your coaching points on there. And you can also add drawings. So you can purchase and integrate the clip draw tool. So the analysis like they do on the TV, on Sky Sports, on Match of the Day, adding these telestrations will make your video look really professional. You can add arrows, move a player tool, spotlights, add any text boxes on. You have many features that you can add to your video and really bring it to life. So once you've actually finished and you're happy with that presentation, you can then present it back to your players, for example, in that sport, or you can export the presentation to share it around with your players, your coaches, parents, fans, anybody you want. So that's an export basic. Okay, so moving on up to an export basic plus and it really does take your analysis to a new level and this is due to the descriptor buttons so think of those buttons like adjectives to the categories so they add another layer of information for you so using football as an example if you're watching the video and you see a player cross the ball and you're analyzing that cross you will press cross because that will be the category and then you can add more information to that cross so you may have a descriptor button saying from the left, from the right, from the wing, from deep, from high, from low, cleared by the defender, resulted in a shot, resulted in a goal. And now you don't just know that it was a cross, you know a lot more about that cross. Similarly, if you were analyzing shots, you would press shot, that would be the category, and then you can find out what shot was on target, off target, whether it was a long shot, a short shot, whether it was with the head, the volley, and so on. In rugby, you'll want to know how you are gaining and losing possession. So you can look at set pieces, the turnovers. You can look at how many phases of possession you're having as well. And if you are looking at individual player moments in any sport, you can make the player the category and the action as the descriptor. So the player would become, you could have the number that they're wearing or a picture of them imported into the template. You would click the player and then the actions, the shot, the cross, etc., would become the descriptor. It's completely up to you and what you want to get from the game. All of this can be applied to any sport. So you can apply it to hockey, of course. You can apply it to tennis if you're looking at serves and there are different errors that are made. You can apply it for to squash, GAA, netball, basketball, boxing, MMA, the list goes on and as I said there are 35 plus sports that use an axe sport so you can apply this to any sport. So in Axe Sport Basic Plus you now have 50 buttons opposed to the 25 in that sport basic and with your categories and descriptors you create something very special it's the matrix this is another terminology that we use within the Naxport software and the matrix will display all your categories down the left and all your descriptors across the top so you can see and easily find those moments that happen so if you're looking for all the shots that were on target you can quickly go to the grid and see oh, we had seven shots that were all on target now, pressing that seven will then display the video for you. So the matrix is linked to the video. So it's really powerful if you're reviewing the footage yourself or presenting it, you can bring the matrix up on the screen, click the number and you can show the video behind the numbers. So moving on to dashboards, you get two dashboards now instead of one. So you may have an individual dashboard looking at your players. You may have a team dashboard looking at the team overall. So you get two now and again that will self populate itself into the uh, into the graphs of charts and labels that you have you may also be coaching more than one sport um, therefore you may have more than one template and you have the two uh, dashboards now to populate that chart and and, and uh, graphs 
You now get the play-by-play -play window as well. So this will be a window that opens up while you're registering and you can easily see what you've registered. You can search specific moments while you're actually in the registering environment. And also this is a really good tool. If you're on the same network, you can wire wirelessly send a live dashboard of stats to review. So perhaps you've got your the maybe the subs on the bench um, with an iPad or their phones, they can pick up the stats from the game, other coaching staff, um, anybody really can log on if they've got a web browser and see the stats rolling in live through the game. And importantly here, you can start to import and export XML files to other timeline based sources. So if you're using things like Instat, Scout, obviously Sports Code and Opta, you can start sharing the uh, data between the different timeline based sources. So that's basic plus. Okay, so moving on to Naxport Scout Plus, which is a really powerful and popular version of the software. Firstly, you have unlimited buttons on your template. You're no longer restricted to the 50. You also have unlimited dashboards now. You're no longer restricted to the two dashboards. You can register without a video source, knowing that the game is being recorded, and then you can sync the timeline and the video up later on. You can now import the full sports code game breaker packages. It's just a quicker process. You can import the data and the video. You can now sync a second video angle to the timeline. And here is a really important point. You can fill the presentation up with clips from over five different games. So you're no longer restricted to that one game. You can open five timelines at once and start filling the presentation up over the last five games or five games that you have open. This is really handy when it comes to reviewing the statistics. You can make a multiple matrix so you can view the stats over a longer period of time rather than that one game. So if you did set any KPIs, you can really see and analyze how your team are performing. And also a really good feature as well is the live streaming tool. You can wirelessly send the live dashboard and video clips. So in Basic Plus, it was just the dashboard. Now in Scout Plus, you can send the video clips as well to that other device. So again, the receiver will just need to have a web browser. So an iPad or their phone, they can load up the video clips and the live dashboard as it's happening in the game. So that is the powerful Naxport Scout Plus. Okay, upgrading to Naxport Scout Plus Unlimited. Obviously everything Scout Plus can do, and now you have an unlimited amount of timelines that you can open at once. So I just said there in the normal Scout Plus, you've got five different timelines that you can open up to fill up the presentations and review the clips from five different games. Well now you can open up as many games as you want. You have unlimited timelines, you can view an unlimited amount of games in it, multiple matrix, and you can really focus on those KPIs over an unlimited amount of games. And that's why it's Scout Plus Unlimited.